Bright bursts of fun, springy and overflowing with creativity. Easter bonnets bobbing down Fifth Avenue, blocked off so it was jammed not with cars, but with dazzling color and craft. This New York City Easter tradition has been around since the 1870s. I wanted to do something that honored New York and uh, was about, you know, the spirit of New York. And New York is style, it's grace, it's elegance. Sometimes bonnet accessories include animals, like this pair of goats. This is Lady Daffodil and this is Sir Stinky. No one gets very far. He's nibbling on everything. A stampede of goat gawkers stopping, snapping photos, and petting the animals. This is all about spreading the cheer of Easter and bringing animals to humans. The most popular trend out here appears to be bonnets that are blooming to say, welcome spring and no more snow. I think we're overdue for flowers, um, especially after several nor'easters. So it's nice to have uh, fake flowers until we get the real ones. Adding some strange, offbeat bonnets to the fun are professional artists, including Heidi Lee of Bushwick, Brooklyn. New York City is my big inspiration, living here every day. <laughs> yeah, there's no place like it. She was happy to explain what's going on with her futuristic bonnet. It's her commentary on what she calls a big brother's watching culture, obsessed with selfies. Well, plenty of those were being taken here. On Fifth Avenue in Midtown, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.